The Spark is a new kind of instrument that measures S parameters and time domain responses quickly and effortlessly, and at a fraction of the cost of other instruments. With the Spark, the lengthy, painstaking manual calibration procedure is utterly eliminated. Here we have a 4-port, 40 GHz Spark, complete with internal calibration capability. This includes standard, all the tools required to measure 4-port S parameters and time domain responses in both single-ended and mixed-mode configurations. The Spark is connected to a laptop via standard USB 2.0 cable and is connected to a simple backplane demonstrator with a single differential pair. I have ports 1 and 2 connected to either end of one line and 3 and 4 to the other. Let's switch over to the application, set up, and take a straightforward single-ended measurement. Afterward, we'll perform a mixed mode measurement and then show how the Spark acquires and displays live TDR signals. I'll click on Setup. Here's where almost all the settings for S parameter and time domain measurements are configured. Currently, we are set up to make a two-port, 800-point measurement with an end frequency of 20 GHz. Let's change it to 40. When we perform the mixed mode measurement, We'll change some advanced settings, but let's proceed by clicking Go. The Spark is in the process of executing a sequence of TDR and TDT measurements. TDR pulses are generated and then subsequently measured by pulsar samplers. The TDR and TDT waveforms are routed via a high bandwidth switch matrix, first to the internal open, short, load, and through calibration standards, and then to the DUT, where TDR and TDT are performed on each pair of ports. The Spark calculates the S parameters of the DUT using an algorithm that de-embeds all system components, including cables and optionally adapters and fixtures as well. When the acquisition is complete, the results are shown. Note that the calibration and DUT measurements proceeded without any need to disconnect and reconnect cables and calibration kit adapters, thanks to the internal calibration and signal routing capabilities of the Spark. Now that we have our results, a standard touchstone file can be saved either manually or automatically and is ready for loading into your simulation software. Currently, the Spark software is configured to show S11, S12, S21, and S22 in typical units of dB versus frequency. We can change position and zoom factors to get a better view. We can also modify this configuration to see additional result traces. For example, let's add a time domain response measurement. We can select step response, impulse response, row, or Z. These time domain views are normalized to a user configurable ROS time and show the response of the DUT de-embedded from all other system components. Note that there was no need to execute the measurement sequence again when adding new results. The Spark application retains the source data for any additional analysis you may wish to perform. Now let's configure the Spark to make a four-port mixed mode measurement. Since our DUT is designed to carry a differential pair, We'll want to use the differential and mixed mode S parameters to gain more insight about the backplane's ability to transmit differential signals. To do this, we go to the advanced screen that lets us set up the port configuration. Since we essentially have a two-port differential system, we'll set up the Spark to consider the system as such. The configuration screen you are seeing allows you to find the port mapping. In our case, ports 1 and 3 and 2 and 4 are the differential pairs. The advanced screen has other options, including configuring de-embedding for fixtures and adapters, and for selecting to enforce rules that your simulation software might require. Let's require that the S parameters follow reciprocity and passivity, in addition to causality, and then start the measurement by clicking Go. We can see the progress of the measurement in the status box, with more detail in the setup screen. While the Spark is executing the sequence, we can set up the results we want to see. For example, we can look at differential return loss, common mode insertion loss, as well as impedance and step response. The calculation is now complete, and as before, results can be saved for future reference. The Spark also has a lively TDR-TDT mode of operation that is ideal for troubleshooting. In this mode, the user can route the TDR pulse to a specific port. The TDR waveform can be averaged, and sine x over x interpolation can be applied. This mode of operation is also an excellent way to confirm that your connections are sturdy and will display the effect of disturbing the circuit. For instance, touching the circuit will produce a visible effect if the connection is intermittent. With the LaCroix Spark Signal Integrity Network Analyzer, you are able to gain tremendous insight into both the time and frequency domain characteristics of your DUT quickly, accurately, and at a very affordable price.